Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Gains from Almost in Full Color. And as you can see today, we're going to be reviewing Lawn Mowing Simulator. Uh, it released on August 10th, 2021 and is available on Steam and Xbox Series X and S. The game's going to run you around about $25, which brings it in line with other simulation style games that's released on PC or console as well. So you may be asking yourself, what exactly is Lawn Mowing Simulator? Well, it's exactly that. It's a game where you simulate mowing lawns for customers as a lawn service company. So the game has three different modes, free play, challenge mode, and career mode. And if you're someone who enjoys simulation style games, or you're somebody who hasn't played one of these games, but you love mowing your lawn, then this just might be the game for you. For this review, we're going to mainly focus on the career mode, as this is usually the reason people play these style of games. In career mode, you create your own lawn cutting company to begin taking on jobs from customers needing their grass cut. Starting off, you'll only have two mowers to choose from and only be able to take on one job a day as your only employee is, well, you. So as you do more jobs and increase your company's reputation, you will be able to hire additional employees so you can take on multiple jobs per day and increase the revenue you bring in each day. Before you actually put these employees to work, you'll need to give them a mower to use. This is where your headquarters comes into play. These serves as your main base and also your storage bay or bays for your mowers. You can either upgrade your HQ or purchase another bigger location so you can accommodate the additional mowers you purchase for the company. Okay, so now that we got the quick overview out of the way, I want to really talk about the pros and cons for this game as it stands right now. First, we want to start with the cons. So the career mode really doesn't have enough content to give you a reason to keep playing. Now this can change if more content is added, but as the game stands, you will max out the company in about eight to 12 hours of gameplay. The max employees is capped at two plus yourself. So you'll only have three people actually out working. And what you'll come to notice is that the reason you can only have three people working, including yourself, is that you already are generating too much revenue for the amount of content in the career mode. As when you start to cut these lawns, you will realize you'll have to purchase certain mowers that have certain attachments in order to do the jobs. These mowers actually don't cost that much money when it comes to how much money you're either bringing in through revenue or if you're starting to utilize the ability to take out loans, which this game gives you a choice to do, you can bring in quite a bit of money to purchase the mowers you need up front or a more advanced mower that allows you to do jobs faster. And then you start bringing in quite a bit of money to where you can already purchase the more advanced HQs, purchase additional mowers, and then you don't really have anything else to do. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't take on any more jobs. You can actually keep taking on jobs and bringing in revenue as much as you want. The issue is you just have nothing to do with the revenue. As I stated before, you do need certain mowers with certain attachments in order to take on different jobs because they have a unique condition you have to meet. But you can actually do that with three mowers. And since you can only bring on three people to your job, two employees plus yourself, you realize there's no reason to purchase the other mowers unless you just want to use them for fun. So if you're looking for a simulation style game that has a lot of content that's going to give you hours and hours of playability, this may be one you want to hold off on until additional content is released. Now, the other con about this game has to do with the employees. So when applicants start to apply to your company, you'll realize pretty quickly that it's nothing out of the norm to see two maybe even three applicants that look the exact same it seems they only have about three to four different designs or different character models for a man and for a woman so if you have five applicants i can guarantee you at least two of them is going to be carbon copies of each other also when you look at each character's profile they'll have about three descriptors that's kind of like their resume introduction of you know what is what's a little bit about themselves and it seems like they only use about 12 maybe 15 different descriptions so again if you have five people applying to the company you'll see different variations of those same descriptions for each person also sometimes those descriptions have nothing to do with the employee themselves i don't know if that's supposed to be like a joke or something uh 
just seems like a bug to me but yeah you can definitely see the same descriptions on multiple different applicants as well as those applicants looking the exact same so the last con will just wrap up some of the bugs that's currently happening with the game uh, the first bug is a collision fee bug where when you're cutting the customer's grass obviously you can have penalties if you cut things you aren't supposed to cut like if you destroy their flowers and also collision penalties if you run into things on their property so the collision bug is that no matter how perfect you cut the grass you'll get a 25 cent fee for collision damages when you back the mower back onto your own trailer for some reason the trailer is included in the collision mechanics and you can't back on there perfectly without having the collision so you always will get fined at least 25 cent for any job you take another bug has to do with actually being able to cut the grass so if you're playing this game on xbox series x or xbox series s you are aware that both of those consoles use the quick resume feature so anytime you play lawnmower simulator and if you stop playing the game and put your xbox into rest mode once you relaunch the game using quick resume no matter what you do when you engage the blades they won't actually cut any grass so in order to fix that you'll have to close the game out completely and then relaunch the game and then you'll be able to cut grass again now this is a known bug the developers are aware of this and they're working to fix it so by the time this video comes out you might already have this fixed also when you send your employees out for jobs or when you yourself go out for a job and this usually centers around the litter pickup jobs they don't pay exactly what they're supposed to pay if you take on the job it won't pay what it actually says but if you send one of your employees to do that job then it will pay what the job is actually supposed to pay i'm not sure why that is again it's another bug the developers know about they're working on it but it's just a little small thing to keep in mind so if you ever want to do one of the litter pickup jobs it'd probably be better if you send an employee out to do it just so you can get the full revenue now that we've talked about the cons i want to get into the pros the main pro about this game is just how authentic it feels to cut grass. They do a great job of adding in a lot of small details that people who actually cut grass will really appreciate and just see how it adds to that authenticity of cutting grass. For instance, there's various different lengths of grass you can cut in this game and it can also be wet or it can be dry. Now, depending on the circumstance you find yourself in when it comes to the length of the grass or the condition of the grass, that's going to affect how much strain it puts on your mower. Also, how big the mower is or how small the mower is will also affect, you know, how much strain the mower actually takes. So you can actually do a lot of little things to kind of mediate that that stress on your mower, whether it's raise the deck up higher to where, say, if the customer wants their grass cut at seven centimeters, but the grass is 22 centimeters, you can actually do one pass with the blades at 12 centimeters high cut it down some and then come back over it at seven centimeters high so that each one of those passes actually alleviates the stress on the mower also people might also be aware that sometimes you'll actually do a technique i like to call split the deck to where you're not mowing for the complete width of your deck but you have half of the deck over the grass that needs to be mowed as well as the other half over grass you've already mowed because that way it also takes a lot of the strain off the mower and you'll notice that that technique actually works in this game as well. So for all the cons I mentioned earlier, I have to say that really they did a great job on the main thing. And the main thing is the cutting grass experience and they really nailed that. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Now granted it would be greater if the career mode was more in depth, but just for people who really just want that grass cutting simulation to where they really don't care much about the career mode they're going to love this game because this is where that game really shines where there's different mowers whether it's front wheel drive rear wheel drive whether it's a big deck a small deck four wheel drive zero turn whatever like they did that great like that's perfect 
the only thing that's really missing from this game is a lot of content and i really feel like that's going to come down the lines so if you're somebody who really wants to play this game just loves cutting grass but you also don't mind either the lack of content or you don't mind waiting for additional content to come down the road then definitely pick up lawn mowing simulator because you will really enjoy this game